Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of August 2024. I'm going to pull an eight card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's somebody new coming towards you or someone that you're already dealing with, my job is to see who you're connecting to this week and why, what their feelings are for you, your feelings for them. Uh, I'll get their intentions with you, their behavior towards you, and I'll also take a look at what could be challenging you the most right now. You got three cards that wanted to hop out. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to put them back in, but I feel like there's a side message for an Aries watching me right now. I got the Magician, the Three of Wands, and the Six of Swords. I'm feeling like I have an Aries that really needed to pull away from a situation that was bringing you a lot of chaos in your life. Whether it was a specific person or a situation, you felt like something was just not worth your mental health and you got the F out in time for you to like, you know, collect your bearings. All right, and now you've got something amazing that is well on its way because you decided to put yourself first. The magician is having all the tools you need to create what you want in your life, and the three of wands is waiting on everything that the magician orchestrated to come to you, okay? So you've got something waiting in the wings to enter your life, Aries, and it's because you chose yourself first and chose to like remove yourself from a situation that was not going to lead anywhere healthy for you. So that's a side message for someone out there. If you were recently dealing with something that was stressing you out, just really dragging your energy down, they're wanting to give you, you know, a thumbs up for getting the F out, okay? Not tolerating that BS. All right, so let's see what's going on with your love life this week. You got a really good monthly, by the way. A lot of you guys are entering healthy relationships this month, and I love it. Aries, two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my awesome Aries. All right, so the person heading towards you this week, how do they feel about you deep down? We have the page of wands. That's fire energy. Somebody's excited about you. Their intentions with you. We have temperance. This is major account for Sagittarius. Their behavior and actions towards you. The Seven of Pentacles. Nice. I like this energy, Aries. Um, your feelings towards this person. We have the Dev card. What's challenging you the most this week? The Four of Swords. And your potential weekly outcome. The Ace of Swords. Your advice. The Emperor. That's your major arcana, Aries. Regardless of your gender, that's you. And the overall energy for your reading, the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. With the Nine of Cups being your overall energy, this is telling me that you have made the right choices that are aligning with everything that you're wanting for yourself and then some. The Nine of Cups is pretty much acknowledging that you turned your back on people, places, and things that were not in alignment with where you wanted to go in your life because the Eight of Cups goes right before the Nine of Cups. Okay, you made some tough decisions, you made some serious judgment calls, and they're looking really good on you this week. All right, you look very happy about what's going on. And with your feelings being the dev card, you're feeling like you're undergoing a lot of changes. Changes that lead to potential new opportunities for you to exercise all the knowledge you gained from the, the past experiences that you went through, Aries. I love this. What's influencing this? The Ten of Cups. And I got this message for you in your August monthly that a lot of you are stepping into healthy relationships because you, you worked on the relationship with yourself first. Because you have to be in that Nine of Cups energy in order to align with a Ten of Cups situation. All right, you had to have a healthy relationship with yourself. And by having a healthy relationship with yourself is by putting healthy boundaries, not allowing the wrong people in your space, and just gaining control in your love life, okay? And with your advice being the emperor, they're wanting you to continue maintaining control because it's working in your favor. You're stepping into your power, Aries. And there's someone here that likes you a lot that you're connecting to, and it feels like... Um, this connection could actually go somewhere, all right? It could actually go somewhere with that Ten of Cups energy. And I feel like Aquarius got this for their monthly, where you just feel like in August, you're meeting the right people, okay? 
Now, with the Page of Wands being this person's feelings for you, they're telling me that you are someone new in their life and they're really excited about what's happening between the two of you. Could be someone a little bit younger than you or just someone that's feeling very playful and inspired this week. They're definitely um, contemplating something this week with that Seven of Pentacles temperance. They're weighing things in and just like trying to figure out how you fit in their life going forward. They're acknowledging that they've already invested some time into the situation and the time that they invested, they feel like they've gotten enough gains to wanna to give to it much more in the near future with that Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so let's take a look. Why is the Page of Wands how this person feels about Aries this week? The Ten of Pentacles and the Magician and the Two of Cups. Now, the Ten of Pentacles showed up in your August monthly. You've got somebody here that feels like there's strong potential for you guys to have a healthy long-term relationship because the Ten of Pentacles is that energy of feeling like you're aligning with someone that sees the world like you, sees relationships like you, and is willing to put in the hard work. Some of you may be even talking about moving in with each other in the near future, possibly like a little bit towards the end of August, but maybe thinking about it this week as I'm seeing an empty house with moving boxes. So whoever this person is, Aries, they're getting really excited. They're getting really like um, motivated towards a relationship with you with that magician to the two of cups. They like you a lot. And I feel like I'm pulling on an Aries that had to separate themselves from something that was really weighing, weighing you down heavily and was affecting your mental health because with the Four of Swords showing up in your challenge position, it's telling me that you undergone a really stressful situation in the past and you're in the process of healing from that. But it's showing up in your challenge position, which could tell me that you still have a little bit more work left to do on yourself before accepting this person's offer of long-term. Just a little bit of work. That could be why that Seven of Pentacles is in this person's future actions position, giving that they're patiently waiting on you to be ready, okay? Because you're well on your way with that Nine of Cups as your overall energy, but with the death card being in your feelings, you may feel like you still need to go through like the final you know, transformation before you're ready for a new beginning because endings lead to new beginnings. All right, this is you going through like a metamorphosis, going in a cocoon as a caterpillar, coming out as a beautiful, freaking butterfly not to sound corny but that's what i'm getting for you a lot of people are getting the um metamorphosis energy in these readings lately so a lot of us have gone through a lot of serious changes and overhauls in our life where we're cleaning out our energetic closet we're like you don't belong you don't belong you can stay you don't belong you are new so i still gotta look at you and use my discernment but we'll keep you around it's that energy of you picking and controlling who's in your kingdom. Because that's what the emperor does. The emperor is the number four. The number four is all about security, foundation, and you know, just feeling like you've got some freaking control in who can come and go from your life. You know, the emperor is a person in a position of authority and power. And with this showing up in your advice position, they're encouraging you to continue being the person in control and authority in your life. For some of you heirs, you may have felt like you lost your, your control over your autonomy in a last relationship where you felt like the choices weren't yours, where someone was deciding what the relationship was gonna look like and how you guys were gonna react with each other and you know, hang out with each other and you just felt like, do I have no say here on how this relationship you know, works? So I feel like you're getting your control back. And just as I'm saying that, I see the tower. I'm strongly getting that there was some sort of tower that took place in your life, Aries, and now you're just like, whew, all right, I got out of that. Let me just collect my bearings and then I'm ready to go. And you already have this person just like eager to be with you, okay? And remember how during the pre-shuffle we saw the Six of Swords card. The Six of Swords was telling me that you moved away from the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords in tarot is, you know, dealing with some petty stuff. Dealing with people who were trying to gaslight you or manipulate you in some way and you're going through your transformation. You feel, I don't really know how you feel about this person that I'm 
tapping into right here because you're kind of giving me the vibe that you don't even know how you feel about this person yet because you're still dealing with the energetic whiplash from the last ordeal. And the last ordeal doesn't even have to pertain to your love life. It could have been like, you know, dealing with some family stuff where you felt like you couldn't trust your family even. And then I open up to the tower and the queen of wands and the queen of wands is you. This is your court card regardless of your gender Aries. This is you realizing who you are, remembering who you are and, you know, not being shy about it. You know, the queen of wands is a confident person. It's someone that you know, walks in a room and you can just tell this person has major boundaries and not to disrespect this person. You know, that air of authority. That's the emperor energy too. Okay. This is you meeting new people and immediately giving off the vibe that you have some strong, healthy boundaries for yourself and you're not going to, you know, compromise with them. Why is the death card here? The Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. And then I see the Death card again. So you got some repeated eights. Um, we are in the year of eight if you break down 2024 numerically. The number eight, I feel, connects to karma. It connects to, you know, that Saturn energy. It connects to karmic contracts ending and changing and manifestation, things like that. So you're like kind of like energetically still attached to something that is on the way out. You're in that awkward stage of eliminating something and still dealing with the, the mental, mental whiplash from whatever that was, but that you're getting excited about all the changes that are heading your way because of the positive changes you're doing in your life and it's being influenced by the wheel of fortune. It's like the universe is giving you a little booster. Think of the Wheel of Fortune to the Eight of Wands similar to like playing a Mario game, right? You're playing Mario and you step on one of those special mushrooms and you get like some sort of special power. Whether it's an extra life, whether it's a ability to like, you know, see behind the scenes, things like that. It's like the Wheel of Fortune is saying that the universe is giving you an extra boost around this time frame because of all the work that you did on yourself and how you proven that you are someone who is really wanting to find your your true path. All right, and the Wheel of Fortune comes in to like help you in some way, kind of like in that movie with Jim Carrey where he was the Truman, or not Truman, uh, he played uh, Bruce Almighty or something like that and they opened up the path for him to drive through it opened up all the cars that were in the way and helped him drive through it. It's like giving you a booster because you're, you're in alignment with where you want to go. You're doing the work. All right. So the death card talks about changes and I'm looking at these nine ghost kitties coming out of this dying cat's body, indicating that you have gone through more than your fair share of endings and new beginnings in your life. Like you've had to, to say goodbye to more than your fair share of people, Aries. Okay, but it's what keeps on, you know, putting you in a different direction to learn more about yourself. You rule the first house. The first house is all about self identity and being bold and confident and not giving an F what other people think. Some of you may have given too much attention to how other people felt about your life decisions and now you're needing to step into that energy of, I'm going to do what I want to do, what makes me happy and you're getting a universal booster, okay? You're getting a, a universal booster. And with all these eights being here, I feel like you're undergoing a lot of changes and you're being guided to not rush. If you feel like someone's moving too fast and wanting to jump into a relationship too quickly, then communicate this to this person. But I do feel like you're excited about whoever this person is to where you fear telling this person that you might need a little time to figure things out in fear of this person giving up on, on you and walking away and you don't want to miss the opportunity you're saying. It's like, crap, if I tell this person I need a little bit more time to figure some things out, they're going to think I'm not interested and they're going to walk away. No, if it's the right person, they'll stay. Because with this person's intentions being temperance, they're intending to be patient, especially with that Seven of Pentacles. So whomever I'm tapping into for this weekly reading, Aries, this is someone that knows good things take time and is not going to be a freaking cruddy car salesman rushing you to sign the dotted line. You know, this is someone that is patient. 
okay and this is kind of matching with that August monthly I did for you where you have someone here that knows good things take time and investment okay um, they want the ten of Pentacles with you whoever this person is um, let's take a look at their intentions this person's intentions with you is temperance why temperance when you think about temperance that's the energy of like working together as a team finding a nice balance everyone feels like their feelings are being heard why the temperance card page of swords this person is intending to learn more about what you had to walk away from it's like you're opening up to this person about some of the tough choices you had to make in order to reach that nine of cups so this person's getting a different perspective on things. This person's learning learning more about you, taking it all in, and understanding where you're coming from. So whoever this person is, if you tell them, look, I'm not ready to get married. I'm not ready to move in with you just yet. Can we just enjoy our, our connection right now? They're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Anyone that's like pressuring you before you're ready has an ulterior motive. It's like, really? Why do you want to like... Why, what's the hurry? Now, also be reasonable with this person as well. You know, if you're asking them to wait for, for a long time, that's a different story. But I feel like you guys are going to find some sort of compromise, especially with that Ace of Swords in your weekly outcome. Because that Ace of Swords in your weekly outcome tells me that you and this person are sharing ideas with each other, having breakthroughs, and the communication is completely open with that Ace of Swords. You know, if you can't talk to your person about how you're feeling or listen to what they have to say, then the relationship is going to be doomed in the beginning. Because open communication and trust are two of the most important things to a growing relationship. Why the Four of Swords in the challenge? The King of Wands, that's Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Page of Pentacles. What's challenging you this week? Aries is that there was something in your past that you were so freaking confident about you felt sure of yourself you felt like yes this is gonna be great I'm going to be all in because the king of wands when they agree on something they go all in they don't they don't 50 percent nothing they 110 percent even and you got so excited and something ended up greatly disappointing you to where it left you feeling a bit insecure about your own decisions that you make where you're like whoa I made that decision to accept that and then look what happened to me. It's like you were questioning your own judgment, questioning your own ability to like, you know, just plan for your future. But with the emperor as your advice, they're saying to not be hard on yourself that the decisions you made were actually in alignment with the path that you were on. You needed to go through some sort of experience to gain a lot of wisdom in that area and it's going to help you in your future for some reason. It's gonna, it's gonna make sense to you in your future. It's like you having to understand the, the way people behave and act around certain situations may be what is gonna help you in the future and that's what makes the Emperor so amazing at what he does. He's learned a lot about different types of people, different types of personalities, different types of situations where if a crisis happens, he knows what to do because he's lived through it. The best way to learn something is through life experience. That's why if, if I were to ever hire somebody, I would rather hire someone that has life experience in something versus someone that has the certificate that they studied and passed the test on a freaking piece of paper. It's like, no, I want the one with experience, life experience, because nothing is all textbook. So, and I have the King of Pentacles right here. And the, the King of Pentacles is the head of the Ten of Pentacles family. And your August monthly had the Queen and King of Pentacles. I was getting so much earth in that reading. You've got somebody that wants to build something solid with you. And right now you're dealing with a lot of like freaking whiplash from what, you know, the universe put you through in the past to help you, not to hurt you. So let's take a look at this person's behavior towards you going forward. Now, it, it feels like, um, it feels like, with the Page of Wands being the original feelings of this person, and then we start layering it and we got the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is getting a little bit ahead of where they're at right now. So I, I feel like this is more like a couple months down the road, all right? 
because with that page of wands being there, that feels fresh and new to where this is all kind of predicting the next three months, it almost feels like, instead of the weekly. And I set my intentions that I want it to be a weekly read, but for some reason it's come, kind of coming in as like a three month forecast, which I didn't really want, but I gotta accept it however it comes out, okay? Um, why the Seven of Pentacles for this person's future actions and behavior with Aries? The Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so the Queen of Swords, that's someone that speaks the truth. That's someone that's been through a lot and shares what's going on in their, in their head. And it pertains to an exciting opportunity, Ace of Wands, in regards to new love, Ace of Cups. I feel like you're the one with that Queen of Swords energy because we have the Ace of Swords as the weekly outcome. You're the one that is explaining to this person a few things and that's why that Page of Swords is here. I feel like you've got someone that is hearing about your trials and tribulations and being very empathic about it. Or uh, not empathic, hold on, sympathetic. <laughs> My words today are like word salad. Um, so I feel like the more you share about your life with this person, the more they fall in love with you. You're being vulnerable with this person in the near future and they are appreciating it and it's allowing them to, you know, look at the situation with you even more and, you know, reevaluate their own life and where they've come and see how you guys align with each other. All right. Because whoever this person is, they're wanting something stable with that Queen of Pentacles. And we just had the King of Pentacles a second ago. So your weekly outcome. Ace of Swords. So Aries, I, the vibe I'm getting off of this reading is that you're still kind of in limbo with saying goodbye to one part of your life and saying hello to a new part of your life. And you've got this person coming in with eagerness with that page of wands. But clarifying your feelings, I got the Eight of Wands, which is telling me that this is someone exciting and fresh for you because the Eight of Wands is Cupid's arrows. It's exciting messages. It's FaceTiming someone. It's social media. So you're excited about it, but all these other cards talk about change. All right? Big changes with that Wheel of Fortune. So you may be going through way too much right now where the universe is like, it's okay to slow down. This person will understand. They're not, you know, why the Ace of Swords? The Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Look at that. And we got that Queen of Pentacles right there. And it's the Ten of Pentacles connection. This is the same reading I did for you. Look at that. And with the Ace of Swords coming out as the clarifier, it confirms what I said earlier. And then with that Page of Cups. You're going to feel like this week someone gets you and is listening to you and is... You know, just like, how can I say this? Showing, showing compassion, okay? The, the right ones will want to hear about your backstory. The right ones will want to, you know, give you space to, to grow and to develop. I like this person's energy, Aries. I really do, especially with the temperance being their intentions because the temperance usually shows Archangel Gabriel blending two cups together which is these two cups which is a healthy relationship but in order to have a healthy relationship one must have a healthy relationship with their self first you can you, you cannot expect a healthy relationship with someone if you're you're allowing people to hurt you like that okay that's boundaries i feel like i have an aries that's learning the tough way how Self-love starts with saying, no, I don't like how you're treating me. Goodbye. You know? So your advice, Aries, is the emperor. The moon, the emperor again, and the five of wands. Nice. And then I got the ace of pentacles. Your advice is to move in silence. Not everybody needs to know what you're doing. I feel like you get a lot of attention, Aries, whether in your work, your friendship circle, family, everyone seems to always want to be up your butt and know what you're doing because you do it well. But the wrong people will make you feel like you're not doing it well, will get in your head and make you question your abilities. That's because they're coming from a place of insecurity and jealousy and wanting to mess what you've got so that way you don't get it. All right. So if you're stepping into a healthy relationship, you might have a jealous coworker being like, "Hey, don't you 
are you sure that person really does love you? Are you sure? Like getting you to doubt the person that you're dealing with. Use your intuition, but move in silence. I feel like there's something else going on in your life, whether pertaining to your money. Um, there's something that you've got that you're trying to manifest for yourself, Aries, and they're wanting you to move in silence and keep it to yourself. You know, it's best to keep things that are in the works quiet for at least the first three months or so. Um, that allows it time to manifest into your life and be a staple in your life. So that way any non-supporters or fake supporters don't have time to like throw negativity at it and start sabotaging it before it gets its full strength. Okay. Don't know who needed to hear that. So let me clarify the nine of cups, ten of cups. And for those of you dealing with situations where you're still kind of attached to your past energy and you're curious about this new energy, I'm going to get your person's hidden feelings. Why the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Judgment, and the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is this person over here. This is someone that you're newly dating, I feel, like the last few months you've been getting to know this person. I'm feeling new energy. And then I got the sun. We're in Leo season. I feel like with that judgment being here, this is confirming that you had to purge a lot of people, places, and things in your own ideologies, your own way of doing things in order to make space for the ultimate goal of true happiness with that Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. But the ultimate goal is self-love, then love with other people. So judgment is kind of like um, shedding old layers of skin, just like a snake. You, the, you watch a snake shed its skin and come out stronger more fierce. So I feel like whatever situation you went through, Aries, it's making you more freaking fierce, more like in control of your life. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it for you. So Aries, you've got someone coming towards you energetically, whether this person's physically in your life right now or the universe is bringing you this person very, very, very soon. You've got someone that really wants to show you that they care about you and are willing to be here for the long haul. Just, you know, let them in. Okay. And you're transitioning from something that brought you a lot of energetic whiplash. And I feel like the universe is saying, be patient with yourself. Don't expect overnight, you know, results. Don't expect to be over your ex overnight um, or the people that hurt you, whether family or friends. Don't expect to be over that overnight. Start with forgiving yourself for the choices that you made and then work on forgiving them. All right. Um, I got every zodiac sign here, so it doesn't really matter. It, I got a lot of fixed energy, so Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius, but I have every zodiac sign here. So let's get your hidden message. And if you haven't checked out your August monthly, I encourage you to do so. It's in my August playlist. Please rock that like and subscribe button to your girl Aries and if you would like to book a private reading with me you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of every video BadisonIntuitiveTarot.com that's two D's not one for Badison and every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time I go live with the all signs their feelings for you spread I will link in the description box below this video the most recent one I did it's I did it the other day so it's good for the entire week where where you can look at your love life in a different perspective okay it's in the description box, so you just have to, all you have to do is click on that video and then look for the Aries timestamp because it's a very long video. You don't need to watch that whole thing. And then every Sunday morning, I go live for the other ones. I always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world. Is it focusing? I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. Yeah, for some of you, you got ghosted by someone and you're like, what the fudge? I can't believe I allowed that person to get close to me. Don't punish yourself for that. I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. Someone's regretting ghosting you for some of you or someone's regretting leaving your life. Um, and, you know, you're, you're kind of like learning that you're happy that that happened. Time passes, but my feelings don't change even though you no longer trust me with your heart. Someone's feeling guilty that they broke your heart and there's a contemplation of coming back around because they feel like they only abandoned it because of their own insecurities. But by the time they get you know, to a place where they realize that they did mess up, you're already a changed person. You're not the same person as you were six weeks ago, six months ago, six years ago. You're a lot different, all right? and you're more in control of the right people that belong in your life. So this person, you may not even vibrate with that person to where they, they won't even 
there'll be like a little gnat in the back of your your ear all right no offense cross watcher watching <laughs> if that does not resonate with how you treated aries then disregard that all right so i love you guys i'll check back with you in a few days for your next weekly update till then have a good one